Day 10 of the Olympics and everyone is freaking out about this dressage horse dancing to Santana's Smooth. Check it out. I don't get it. I made the same video a year ago and no one watched. You don't appreciate the internet. Welcome to Extra Point, I'm Rob King. Day 10 of the Olympics was the day for counting your chickens before they won gold. Allison Felix thought she had the gold wrapped up in the 400 meter until that dive dough. Let's talk about that for a second. Shawnee Miller, she won the gold, fantastic, but she also won the internet. A whole lot of memes she set up right now. You know what, they're all fun, they're very nice, but let's just get them over with, okay, real quick. Here's Shawnee Miller playing football. Here's Shawnee Miller in the creation of Adam. And here's Shawnee Miller as Crying Jordan's Tears. Okay, great. You got it all out. Let's move on. All right, time for the medal ceremony. Who are the winners and losers here? First off, let's start with the losers. I'm giving the bronze medal to the gymnasts who have to pay a fee if they want to challenge a judge's ruling. Now, the sport is already prim and proper enough, all right? I want to see some misbehavior. I want to see sweet little Lori Hernandez flipping over a beam and cursing out a judge, maybe headbutting a fan, I don't know. Get crazy a little bit, okay? There's nothing, nothing exciting uh, about cautiously filling out an objection card and paying a processing fee. It's stupid. Bronze medal, silver medal, I'm giving it to handball. This looks like a made up sport created by a bunch of kids with ADHD just before they get grounded for playing ball in the house. It makes no sense, okay? It's like water polo uh, for people that can't swim. Try, try describing it to someone. You, you take soccer, you mix it with basketball, and then you throw out the rules. There's dribbling sometimes, and then sometimes you just hold the ball and run like football. It's chaos. It's madness. It makes no sense. But I would love to play. It looks like super fun. Um, so if anyone out there wants to get like a league going or just like a practice kind of group, uh, hit me up on Twitter, at good to be the king, hashtag handball league, um, hashtag friends, uh, hashtag blessed. And let's get this thing going. You know, we'll see how it goes. Gold goes to Simone Biles for winning the bronze. Now this is on the beam. Simone is one of the greatest gymnasts that has ever lived, but she lets other gymnasts win as well. <laughs> Talk about a sharer. For that, gold medal. Everyone has their favorite Olympic sport, and here now to talk about his is Editor-in-Chief of The Kicker, Brian Tucker. Hello. Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. So uh, what is it for you? What gets you going in the Olympics? Well, what I love about the Olympics is it takes all of sport and distills it down to its most basic elements. Who can run the fastest? Who can jump the farthest? And who can make a horse dance? And not only dance, dance the best. I don't know if you've seen it. It's called dressage. Yep. You have seen it. Yeah. Great. It's my favorite Olympic sport. Um, what it is, is people get on a horse and then the horse does what Mother Nature intended all horses to do, shake their horse booty to music. <clears throat> oh, look at that. It's beautiful. So it's what horses were meant to do. Yeah, sure. Uh, so but let's say someone has uh, no other option and, and they decide to get into dressage. How, how do they do that? How do they go about it? It's so easy. If you want to get into dressage, just do three simple steps. First, get yourself a horse. Great. Second, teach that horse to dance. Obviously. Third, go to the Olympics and show that dancing horse to the world. And then some judges who know what makes a dancing horse better than another dancing horse, mm. what they will do is they'll say, you know what, that's the best dancing horse. And you might get a gold medal. Hmm. It's as easy as that. That's, that's, uh, that's really something. It's pretty incredible. It's my favorite Olympic sport. And that's why I love about the Olympics. Like, think about all the people in the world. There's seven billion people in the world. So let's say six and a half billion of them can run. Out of all those six and a half billion people, one person can run the fastest. Now, let's say 18 people in the world can teach a horse to dance. Out of those 18 people, one will have the best dancing horse. And that person's gold medal is worth the same as any of Usain Bolt's. Hmm. That's, uh, that's not, it's not, it's not depressing in any way. That's, that's an uplifting. It's exciting. It's exciting for people and horses. Yeah, no, I'm, I feel the excitement. Uh, thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Uh, Dressage. Yeah, no, well, 
We'll get into it. All right, time for the you pick. Now, Laura Hernandez challenged her beam score and it cost her $300. So our question today is, what other parts of the Olympics should cost athletes money? My pick, I'm gonna say divers. If they belly flop, a million dollars. Flat fee right there. I mean, come on guys, get it together. That's my pick. But I wanna know what your pick is. So in the comments below, let us know what other parts of the Olympics should cost athletes money, and I will read the coolest ones next episode. All right guys, I'm Rob King. Thanks for watching The Extra Point. So you really like dressage, you, you, you're into that. Yeah, dude. And there's, you, uh, there's a whole team behind these horses that get them to dance. There's, there's like a, a coach? Yeah, there's a horse choreographer. There's someone that, that, that works with the horse at like yeah, one on one. Yeah. And like in between, they go get a towel, they, they, they talk it through like, all right, your, your steps are good, but you're shitting everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Couldn't train the Laker girls. So it's like, you know what? I'm gonna do horses now.